Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are going to take a look at my top five favorite tweaks for the iPad here and most of these are available for only the iPad so keep that in mind when you're going to check them out here. But the first one we are going to take a look at is a tweak called BTC Mouse and Trackpad and that's available in the Cydia store for $4.98 so keep that in mind. This tweak allows you to connect a mouse and a keyboard and use them simultaneously like you normally would on a computer. In the settings menu for Bluetooth, you see that we have BTC Bluetooth Companion and we have mouse and trackpad enabled. Under Cydia settings down here, you see we have mouse and we can swap the left and right button. We can adjust the tracking speed. We have disable scroll wheel, presentation mode, and two finger touch at the bottom down here. So let's go ahead and set this up and turn on our magic mouse here. And as you can see, it pops up under there. There's Dom's mouse. And once it's connected, we have a usable mouse cursor. Once the mouse is set up, the left click will act as a finger and the right click will act as your home button. Let's go ahead and connect a keyboard though here real quick. And as you can see, I have the keyboard connected now so we can go ahead and type on it and then we can use the mouse cursor to kind of navigate through the text here we can double click to select we can copy we can paste with the keyboard this tweak works pretty well and I definitely recommend it if you're looking to get the most out of your iPad so the next tweak we're going to check out here is display recorder this will allow you to record your entire display here and be able to upload it to YouTube you can send it to people you can export it anything like that and as you can see here if we just set up a new recording and I'm just gonna kind of flow through iOS here do a couple things open the notes app type around a little bit you know just give you a quick little demo of how this works go back into display recorder press stop and as you can see the video pulls up there and it has completed we can go ahead and play the video right here and then you can just go ahead and play back the recording here and as you can see it works very well uh, there's not a whole lot of lag involved here I do definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good solution to record your screen while you're performing tasks on your iPad and we do have some settings options here you can set the frame rate you can set rotation the video format we can show the taps you can hide the taps also that's a good thing too. that little white dot that was on the screen you can keep that hidden if you'd like and like I said you can go ahead and export it but this is definitely a great tweak for anybody who's looking to record their display on an iPhone iPad or iPod touch so go ahead and check it out display recorder is available in the big boss repo for only $4.99 it's pretty useful tweak and it works for all iOS devices and it's iOS 6 compatible now we're going to take a look at one of my favorite tweaks for the iPad for notifications it's called emblem and it's available for $1.99 you can find it in the big boss repo Emblem will give you OSX style notifications here and let me show you a little demo real quick. When I get a message, that's how it looks. You can tap and hold, swipe away to dismiss them. When you get more than three notifications in a short amount of time, they will combine into one scrollable notification as you can see right here. Now we can go ahead and scroll through the notifications. And you can scroll through them all without having to go into the actual app here. So it's a pretty cool tweak for some OSX style notifications. I highly recommend it. And like I said, tap, hold, and swipe away to dismiss them. Next, we're going to take a look at full force. And this will allow you to force iPhone apps to the iPad's full screen. And there is also Retina Pad, which will use a better 2x resolution. But full force is free. And as you can see here, I have the iPhone app for Angry Birds. And if we go ahead and go into the settings app here and enable Angry Birds in full force, when we launch Angry Birds here, you can see that it does pull open to the full resolution. Now, as you get into the game here, you'll be able to see that. So once we're in the game, you can see here that the game is actually full screen for the iPad. And this is the iPhone app. It's the non-HD version. It's just the iPhone Angry Birds app. Nothing special about it. Downloaded it from the App Store. But you can play it in full screen mode. And it does work very, very well. And it is free too. So you really got nothing to lose there. And finally, we're going to be looking at swipe selection. This will allow you to swipe across your keyboard and move the cursor when you're typing. And it works just like this. You can just swipe across the keyboard and you can find somewhere where you need to make a correction. And then you can go ahead and like add a question mark there, an extra one. And if you use two fingers in this app, it will actually allow you to swipe across words. So it's pretty cool little tweak. And this will allow me to swipe faster across 
this sentence here, you can go across different words just like that. And you can also select with this. If you hold down the shift button here and you swipe across the keyboard, it will select the characters or full words if you use two fingers. So you can go ahead and select an entire word. Pretty easy and it makes typing a heck of a lot better on the iPad, especially if you use the on-screen keyboard a lot to type. It was based off of a concept actually that came out a while back and it was brought to life in Cydia and you can get swipe selection available for free in the Big Boss repo. So definitely go ahead and check that one out. So thank you very much for watching. Please let us know what you think down in the comments below. All five of these are definitely great tweaks to get you started on your new or recently jailbroken iPad. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Dom from AppAdvice.com and have a great day.